To find the analog of your beauty in nature, I can turn only to the lily. Only that flower is so sweet and so delicate as to approach your loveliness. Why, just look at these soft, delicate fingertips you have. It is as though they could blossom into fragrant lilies before my very eyes. If you're so wild about flowers, why don't you try a flower shop? Ugh. Oh, wow. That was... I'm sorry I saw that, but I am so glad I saw that. Oh, did you not realize? I was only testing her. Any woman who is taken in by such simple flattery is ill-suited to my noble disposition. Oh, okay, I'm glad you explained it, because I thought you just got rejected. Just flat out, no way to make yourself feel better about it, rejected. And the reason, your nobleness, is because that is really not the way you go about hitting on a girl. Oh, is it not? And I suppose you consider yourself an expert on the subject. Pay attention, kid. Maybe you'll learn something. When I saw you, I just had to come over and say hello. Because finding you here uh, feels like fate. Maybe we could go get some tea. Get to know each other better. I think you must have mistaken me for someone else. Someone who cares. Please excuse me. Exquisite. Simply masterful. When is the wedding? That's weird. Girls usually fall for that speech. You must have spooked her. To think that the noble House Gautier would be blessed with such a graceful and charming air. Please, I'm a much better heir than a self-important failure like you. Uh, this is not worth my time. You took the words right out of my mouth. I just wanted to say that I've been watching and I'm really impressed by how hard you work. Very dedicated for someone so young. Oh, um, thank you. I really admire your everything. But you know, everybody needs to relax now and then. I was wondering if maybe you and me could... Uh, I'm quite busy. I should get going. Bye. That was difficult to watch. Lawrence, ever since you started hanging around, I've had no luck. Usually, if I show a girl I'm mature, noble, and interested, she's an easy catch. Your logic is sound, I will admit, but your results are less than entirely convincing. Honestly, all this talk of maturity and experience from a shallow person like you is rather laughable. Shallow? What? Like your nobleness as some properly cultured man of the world? Naturally, my bearing is as elegant and refined as silk. Observe. You seem to be deep in thought. Is there something on your mind? Please, allow me to lend you my ear. I will gladly shoulder any of your burdens. Oh, thank you. But it's not something I really want to talk about. So harsh. Even the slightest worry, I would have been happy to listen. <laughs> Why, yes. Your silky bearing was quite impressive. You're always going on about nobility. But that's no way to win a woman. Your problem, and I may have told you this before, at least twice, your problem is you're pretentious. <laughs> that's rich, coming from you. Your bearing is so flippant that you utterly fail to gain a lady's trust. How can you not see that? All I'm failing to see is you getting a girl's attention. How dare you? Ah, listen. I'm sorry, that was mean. And you're probably right about me not being serious enough. I will concede, I feel the same. Enough at least to keep your advice at the back of my mind. I was a touch too stubborn. It's the same in battle, isn't it? If you don't bend a little, you fail. Even so? Yeah, with that being said... I will outclass you, Sylvain. Bring it on, Lawrence. <laughs>